A proposed bill to legalise divorce in the Philippines has sparked intense debate in the country. The Philippines remains one of the few countries that does not have a divorce law, along with the Vatican City and, until recently, Malta. A largely, largely Catholic nation, the bill has come up against major opposition from the church. Chito Santos has more. It's the issue everyone in the Philippines is talking about. Mas mainit sa mata ng simbahang katoliko yung issue ng divorce. At dito naman sa aking bansa, muling binubuhay sa kamera ang panukalang bata sa pagkakaroon ng divorce. Senior Philippine church figures have called the bill anti-Filipino, saying it will lead to more broken marriages by giving couples the easy way out instead of solving their problems. And while Philippine President Bedigno Aquino didn't exactly dismiss the proposal, he did say it was currently not a priority, though he conceded marriage is not for everyone. Father Mars Singson of the Filipino-Australian Chaplaincy of Brisbane agrees with the president, saying the country has bigger problems than whether or not to legalize divorce. Divorce is not a hot issue and it is not really a need in the Philippines. The only problem with these politicians is that they, they shift their, their focus of attention of their service instead of handling the major issues in the Philippines like corruption and all these kind of things and killings. They just focus on the minor things which are actually not necessary. And he says these days, religion plays a lesser role in the lives of ordinary Filipinos. The Filipinos today is not anymore that kind of spiritual. They are now more of the secular. In big cities in the Philippines now, their mentality is already Western, not anymore Asian. So do you think it's a case of Filipinos having lost touch of their origins or their religion? Right, right. And uh, Filipinos tend to imitate because Malta... Uh, has already re legalized divorce law in their, in, in their country, although 90 or 95% are Catholics. So Filipinos would like also to make a good swing like Malta. Uh, this is the mentality of the Filipinos. A survey conducted in March by research institution Social Weather Stations showed half of adult Filipinos support the right to divorce, with only 33% against. Many have turned to Facebook and Twitter to voice their thoughts. Why is the Philippines so afraid of change? Change is good. Let's not be stuck. Open your mind, says AJ Velasco on Twitter. Another netizen, Chris Villacruces, writes, Sometimes praise and fidelity just doesn't do it. Divorce is the answer to those who are in an abusive relationship. The current process for married couples to separate is a long, complex and expensive one. Annulments are allowed, but only if certain criteria are met. Irreconcilable differences is not one of them. Family law specialist and attorney Ramon Cito Bailosis is worried the bill may be morally damaging for the country, but can still see its benefits. If there is a divorce bill that will be passed as a law in the Philippines, it will be a lot easier, considering the, the length of time that a party will have to wait to end the annulment or nullity of marriage uh, case. I think divorce bill will, will make their lives easier, as well as the lawyers also. But he also does not see the bill ever becoming law, thanks to the Catholic Church. They will strongly oppose the bill. So I don't think the, the divorce bill will, will be passed in a short period of time. It will, it will uh, necessarily face strong opposition. With most of that strong opposition coming from the Catholic Church, the bill is likely to prove a critical test of strength for the Church in a rapidly secularising Philippines. Chito Santos with that report.